Welcome back. I am so glad that you're here. While I love growing in fabric containers, there's also a very big downside to it. And that's why I wanted to make this video so that you can hopefully avoid the mistakes that I made when starting plants in these types of containers. Now, I really like growing in them because out here in Florida, we get really hot, humid weather and the fabric just allows a lot of air to flow through and the roots get a lot of air circulation and in turn, the plants grow a lot stronger and healthier. Also, the fabric prevents the roots from spiraling and going root bound. So that's another plus because it just gives for a much healthier plant. But the problems that you'll run into are if you are planting something in a fabric container that you plan on transplanting out later on you may run into some struggles now if you let the plant go too long like i did in the fabric container the roots instead of going root bound like they would in a regular plastic container what will happen is the roots will just keep branching out and they'll start attaching themselves to the fabric and so it'll become really difficult for you to remove that plant you'll have to rip a bunch of roots you'll have to probably even cut the container to release that plant from the container and it's not fun now ideally if you're starting plants that you know that you're going to up pot or transplant later on you'll want to do it in a plastic container now even if the plant goes too long in this container it will most likely go root bound and that's still not ideal but it will at least allow you to remove the plant from the container and you can always tease the roots a little bit and transplant it at that point i made the mistake of planting several pineapple tops in small one gallon fabric containers and i let them go a little too long and so what ended up happening is i couldn't get the plant out of the container so it was really difficult for me to kind of push that plant out and so I had to lay it on its side um, I poked myself a couple of times I don't know if you've ever dealt with pineapple plants but once the leaves start to form and mature they form these really sharp serrated leaves almost like little knives and the tips are really pokey it's the plant's way of protecting itself from little animals that may want to eat the fruit. So it's just mother nature's way of protecting herself. And in this case, she was really protecting herself from me. And so it's not ideal, especially when I had to flip the plant over. I couldn't hold it properly. The leaves were poking me. I had to lay it on its side and that was just large and clunky but i did finally get them out and i was able to up pot them into their forever home which is a five gallon fabric container now i'm still leaving them in the fabric i'm not going to remove them at this point because the five gallon is an ideal size for these plants so i'm gonna go ahead and leave them there they are doing really good they are happy and healthy now, I don't know why I keep doing this with these crazy pokey plants, but I did it again with my dragon fruit. I have a dragon fruit right now in a three gallon fabric container. And although the plant is small right now, it's going to eventually need to be up potted into a larger container. Now, the ideal size for dragon fruit, if you're growing them in containers, is essentially a 20 gallon container and I'm not ready to transplant that into a 20 gallon yet plus it's still relatively small so what I'm gonna do is try to prevent the roots from growing anymore in this container so I'm gonna take it out and I'm going to transplant it into another container that's about three to four gallons it's a plastic container so I'm not really worried about it and then later on when I'm ready to transplant it I will go ahead and move it into its forever home which will be a 20 gallon container so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove both the pineapple and the dragon fruit and I'm going to get them transplanted hopefully the roots haven't gotten to the point to where they're grasping onto the fabric so we'll go ahead and get that done now
Now we've got this one in a five gallon. This is the other five gallon that we just placed our pineapple in. I have another one back here in a five gallon and a fourth one in another five gallon. Get out to remove it. To remove it. Every time I talk, this bird. <laughs> Hi, you gonna let me talk? Okay. Thank you so much for being with me today and for sticking around. I really truly hope that you have a beautiful day and until next time.